The Ministar and Biostar use positive pressure, which gives you superior adaptation to your model, ensuring the accuracy and fit of your appliance. These machines can significantly reduce your lab expense by increasing the variety of appliances you can do in-house. Most of the Technic videos in our Resource Center feature the Biostar because that's what we use in our commercial lab at Great Lakes. For most dental practices, the Ministar is ideal. You can use the Ministar to fabricate the same extensive variety of appliances that you can with the Biostar. Apply liquid separator to the model except along the facial surfaces where the wires will be waxed in place. Apply wax facially over the wires to hold them to the model. Mix BioCrow resin to a thick maple syrup consistency. Build an acrylic ledge lingual to the anterior teeth with resin. Adjust height to prescribed level. Make sure applied acrylic will occlude against opposing teeth. Place the model and acrylic resin into a humid pressure pot for 15 minutes. Pressure should be adjusted to approximately 20 psi. At the end of the curing cycle of the resin, evacuate the pressure from the pot. Remove model and cured acrylic. Adjust pellets within the cup to elevate the model. For a holly retainer, the top tooth surfaces should be at the height of the cup's rim. Fill the gap between the model and the cup's rim with pellets. Sweep excess pellets with a 1 inch brush. Pellet level should be against the occlusal tooth surfaces and heel of model and extend to the rim of the cup. Make sure the pellets are removed from the cup's rim. Select a 2 mm biocryl disc. A variety of colors and pattern designs are available. Clamp the biocryl disc onto the chamber. Identify the material's heating time or Biostar code and enter it into the machine. Swing the lamp over the clamp material to start the heating cycle. With 45 seconds remaining in the heating cycle, mix monomer liquid and polymer powder to a maple syrup consistency with a number 7 spatula. With approximately 20 to 30 seconds remaining in the heating cycle, apply resin over bite plate acrylic and retainer wires. Once the heating time has ended, swing the lamp to the back of the machine. Then rotate the chamber over the cup and lock into place. Allow form material to cool and acrylic to cure for two and a half to three minutes. At the end of the cooling and curing cycle, evacuate the pressure from the chamber. Unlock the chamber and clamped material. Swing open the chamber and remove formed material and model from the pellet cup. Some pellets may stick to the formed material. Remove pellets with lab knife. Then loosen the wires that were held in place with wax along the facial surface of the model and remove formed plastic. Using a carbide cutting burr and lab handpiece, cut out the retainer from the disc. Start by cutting along the back of the appliance at the first or second molar reference. Then cut along the lingual cusps of the posterior teeth and near the incisal edges of the anteriors. Caution must be used around wires that are embedded in plastic.
With a taper burr and lab handpiece, the posterior segment is scalped one and one half millimeters above the gingival margins to rest against the cervical crowns of the posterior teeth. The back or heel of the retainer is often tapered forward near the mid palatal area. Maintain plastic contact against the last tooth on each side of the arch and taper acrylic forward about one quarter of an inch. Flatten the acrylic to the prescribed height along the anterior teeth. Finally, the scallop posterior and rounded anterior segments are blended into the retainer body. A sandpaper mandrel with a 3 inch strip of 150 grit sandpaper is used with a lab handpiece to smooth trim surfaces. This retainer is pumiced and polished using the same procedures outlined for the upper Holly retainer. These technique videos, along with the other information on the Resource Center, can show you how to get the most from your machine and how to ultimately take control of your lab bill. Maximize the potential of your Mini Star.